you've come to the zoo recently, you've seen us probably out here different times of the day working the zebras. So we kind of wanted to bring you up to speed and let you know what's going on. Um, all the animals can cooperate if they choose to or not. You see Stuart has decided he wants to see what uh, Dan's doing over there. So, but then Stuart will come back over and he'll do some training over there. Um, they're also not used to quite this many visitors back here. So they're a little bit curious as to why these additional people are here looking at us. So basically everything is based on positive reinforcement and the animals are choosing to cooperate and they're working with us. But what you need to understand is zebras are a very flighty species because everything eats them. So we need to be respectful of that and respectful of their natural husbandry and things that may be normal or not that big of a deal to us are very upset. It could be upsetting to them so that they need to kind of get used to a little bit. Each one of our zebras has its very own personality and we cater to that personality based on their likes and dislikes as well as we also have to make sure that we are respectful for where they are at in the herd's hierarchy. You'll see that each zebra has its very own station. Each station is a different shape and a different color and it's kept in the same location but it can move up and down the bar as we wish. Um, so you see Stewart's decide to come back and see what Randy's doing. That's just perfectly normal and that's acceptable. He's making a decision about what he wants to do. You see Stuart and Randy are working on what we call targeting. And we use this to position the animal and move it around. So if we would have to have the veterinarian come and look at anything, we can move the animal around. But, but the key is he's supposed to reach out and touch that when Randy mm -hmm. asks him to, and then go from there. At the start of session, everybody has to go to their specific station and they have to touch their station with their nose. Station. You see Tracy is working Earl and you see Earl, she's using two targets for him. We are getting him desensitized to having, being touched. So she is working him that he puts his nose on one target and she reaches out to touch him with the other one. Um, like I said, it doesn't sound like that, that should be that big of a deal, but for a zebra that's, could be very concerning because, you know, something's touching them and it would trigger them to be nervous. Dan, on the other hand, is working with Vern. Vern is doing very well, and Dan is asking him to lean in, and then he's telling Vern that he wants to touch him. So Vern has to not only lean in, but stay there, and then Dan will reach out and touch him, or Dan will tell him that he is going to poke him with a capped uh, syringe, and that is part of our desensitization for injection training. You see Randy's working on touching Stuart as well. Um, he's not quite to the point that Vern is. And you see that even though he's touching his station, Randy's not rewarding him. That's because Randy didn't ask him to do that. You don't want to reward an animal for doing something that you are not asking it to do. Um, so Randy's asking him to touch the target while he's petting the side of his face. And that'll progress down to touching his neck, etc. It's very important for us to have these zebras willing to come down for visual inspections and some injections and things like that so that they can be treated just like a domestic equid so we're sure they're in good health we're, the veterinarians can look at them okay they're in good weight their legs look good everything looks well um, we check teeth all those kind of things it is so much easier and less stressful on the animals if they choose to cooperate with us and we use those behaviors for husbandry purposes Target. so that we can give them the best quality care that we have here. Target. Good. You'll also notice that the keepers are either hand feeding or tossing some treats in. What we use for our training, we have found that the zebras, since they are an equid, we use treats that we have for domestic horses. So today they are getting apple and oat treats. So they are very excited about that. But we also have it cleared through our nutritionist that we can also utilize some primate leaf eater biscuits and things like that. They do not get a large quantity of that. This is like a special treat. So the nutritionist has a certain quantity that, to maintain their weight and their appropriate nutritional intake that we only give them a certain amount. But as you can see, they definitely like their treats. Okay.